Yupa Vistable, West Bridge Christmas, Episode 7, which translates directly to ass. And yes, uh, another episode I love. Spoilers for these first seven episodes. And let's dive right in. So, yeah, Stuart can tell almost immediately that something has changed. There's something terribly wrong in the apartment. Someone has done the unthinkable and actually cleaned the place. It's it's pretty horrific. You know, he's he's seen some some terrible things, Stuart, but this might be the single worst thing he's ever experienced. And love the fourth wall break as he's, you know, he's standing there saying, you know, if anyone asks, tell them I'll be in the in the garage. But I don't know who would be asking or who I'm telling to, to say this. And then he looks directly at the camera. You know, yeah, very, very funny. And yeah, the um the the parts for the hot dog stand have gotten stolen once again. And once again it's it's explosives. And again, like it's right there in plain writing. It says C4 explosive on the thing, and people are acting like it's clay. And it just I love when when Danny, you know, he he takes his out of the package and then just smacks it into the the you know. And you're sitting there, no, don't that'll that'll detonate it, which I don't think is actually how it, I, I'm. I feel like I've heard once that. C4, there, there are some explosives that, that, you know, can, but C4 isn't going to, to from that, but, but anyway, let's see, yeah, and Honest Madison, this was, a, I don't know if he's since gotten past it, but this was a time when he could not help but bring up Rudolf Steiner in everything, so, yeah, we get a, a joke about that, it's not quite as like some some of them were. It, it was really like okay, we get it, dude. Just maybe let it go. It's you know, but yeah, the um, this is one of the less annoying ones. <clears throat> and Anna tells Danny, "I got you a job," and Danny's like, "What did I ever, ever do to you?" <laughs> because he's still like he's. Yeah, in his world, having a job is a terrible thing. You know, he doesn't stop and think, well, this, you know, he's a social worker. This is exactly the kind of thing that, you know, because he's, you know, Danny's acting like Anna just told him, you know, I ex come tomorrow, I expect you to walk on the ceiling from now on. You know, it's, no, this is, he's a social worker, of course he got you a job, but, you know, that's, yeah. And yeah, he's we yep. Yeah, right after the the flashback, you know, he's dressed as Santa, which again they they do the thing where the this this fourth wall breaking thing where you know Stewart says I was just having a, a flashback and now this you know so yeah it actually you know he is I guess he's seeing them when we're seeing them also or something like that. <clears throat> And the, you know, uh, I for yeah, 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 and then we have the thing about, you know, uh, you're, you're going to be working at Makaseng, you know, which is like, it's, it's, it, I guess, mall, some, something like that, you know, it's, I, yeah, it's a, it's a store, you know, he's going to be a, the equivalent of like a, a mall Santa, and he's like, I'm not even allowed there until 2017, <laughs> which means he got caught shoplifting, you know. And then the, the, yeah, um, to that, Anna says, you know, I got that squared out, don't worry. And Sir's like, ah, you just got caught with your pants down. And then he's like, of course, it, th th this belt is impossible. <clears throat> and then we have a line that does translate rather well into English. Stuart asks, this is actually, you know, I I added like two quotes 
to this to the IMDb page you know I don't know 15 years ago or something um, oh wait actually I guess I added more than two I just yeah anyway um, yeah <clears throat> um, the the but but yeah you know it's it's misogynistic and I'm going to hell for laughing at it but yeah you know Stewart is you know Danny get the old bag and Danny's like all right Mom, Dad wants to talk to you. <laughs> so bad. And oh, right, and yeah, we have the running gag of you know Stuart keeps saying you know I I almost said I almost said ass, you know I'm getting really close to saying ass. <clears throat> and it's so funny because he's saying stuff that's so much worse than ass, you know, but he's acting like saying ass is just that's the the top. And it, it builds beautifully into, you know, at the very, very end of the episode, he does say, ass. And, yeah, we get some more PMS jokes, different ways of, of yeah, different phrases that mean PM, that, yeah, PMS. And, <laughs> yeah, he goes to, for the, for the advent calendar, expecting beer, as usual, this is this is by far the funniest <clears throat> variation on the on the advent calendar in this entire show. But yeah, you know, he gets that and and sits and unwraps it and An is trying to run lines with Danny and like, okay, so a little girl has just asked for a horse. What do you say? And before Danny can can answer, Steward like lets loose a torrent of swear words. And, and, you know, and then Dan's like, yeah, exactly, that's what I would say. I can't afford a horse. <laughs> As if he's expected to pay for the presents for the kids. Just, wow. <clears throat> and, let's see. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it is very funny that he's like, you know, are you trying to poison me? It's, it's herbal tea, you know, it's not just, you know. And we get another transphobic joke about yeah one of one of the numerous ones that are about Thai sex workers and some scouts come to the door and you know yeah aren't is like oh does Stuart this brings back memories doesn't it yeah it sure does but I mean these are still living right. <laughs> And, you know, yeah, the show really, really likes having characters hand over explosives to Cub Scouts. It's, yeah, it's kind of wild that they did that more than once in, on, on you know, in the run of 24 episodes. And in fact, let's see, I don't think it was, I don't think it was yesterday's, but the day before or something. It's not, there's not a huge amount of episodes in between. And, you know, we even have the line, you know, think about how much joy they can spread with this, which, you know, like, again, puts us in, has us imagining, you know, in addition to handing explosives specifically to children, no, they're like, you know, they're gonna go to places and, and you know, light it up and, and just, you know, it's, it's, it's very messed up and very, very funny. And let's see, yeah, and and so let's call it a day. Call it what? Day? What else would we call it? Pure. <laughs> and and it's yeah, and and again, honest, like, you know what? I'm um, okay. Sure, let's let's go. You know, and and you know, he said, well, I'm leaving, and they're like. Okay, bye. You know, <laughs> do, do you need me to open the door? Just start the car. Buy a plane ticket. You know, it it just it couldn't be more. Just yeah. And and then he said, you know, see you again tomorrow. It's going so well. I'm gonna sh show up a lot. You know, and Cameron Stewart. Whoa. 
And this is the rare occasion where the speaker isn't interrupted at all. I guess they're just so devastated by the realization that Anna is coming back. Which is also very funny, because that means that this is two episodes in a row where, like, the... <clears throat> there's It's not... It's not, oh, Danny's going back to prison, they're, they're being evicted, you know, this, it's, it's, not a, it's not a threat to their physical safety. The big thing that they really can't stand is spending more time with this social worker, you know, that's very funny. And... Tiny bit repetitive, but catch you again tomorrow.